Brian, hello, how have you been? Me, I've been great, lots of travel. I revolted with what Tyler spent the week on an Earth-styled holiday resort on the moon of Pooch. Stopped a group of Zygons posing as Hollywood elitists in the 50s with Audrey Hepburn and James Stewart. And had games night with the Rat Pack and Patrick Swayze. My God, is Sammy Davis Jr. going to win spots. Otherwise, it's been pretty quiet. Not including robot bounty hunters and Dalek killers, of course. Anyway, just thought I'd give you a ring. See how you are. Call me back when you get this. Goodbye. Whoa! What's all this then? <laughs> We're crashing! <laughs> Geronimo! She's supposed to be here by now. Where is she? I'm sure she's just running late. It's not uncommon, you know. How can she be running 35 minutes late? Her workload isn't that big enough. What if she's the next one? Katie, please. There is not a conspiracy. Nobody is being abducted off of campus. How do you explain the disappearances then? Nobody's disappearing. It's almost Christmas. People are going home. You're crazy. Classes don't end for another two weeks. Katie, I really... What the... What was all that about? How did he get in here? I don't know, do I? Ask him! Excuse me! Hello? Humans! Hello. I'm the doctor. Katie Thompson. That's Fraser. Hi. Can I ask you a question? Of course. Anything you like. How did you get the box in here? Well, I suppose... You know, um, it's, it's a time machine, and me being very clever, I crashed it. Great, another crazy person. Sorry, can I ask where and when am I? The 6th of December, 2020, University of York. Fantastic. I love York. Last time I was here was 1739 for Dick Turpin's execution. Lovely fellow. Can't say he didn't deserve it. Nick the Tireless once gave old Reynolds the idea for the great train robbery. What's wrong? No, nothing. It's just, um, some virus. Oh, them? They're artificial. The librarian puts them there to brighten the place up. Doctor? So, what brings you to the library? We're supposed to be studying for the history exam next week, but our friend, Alice, didn't show up. Yeah, Katie thinks that she's been abducted by aliens or something. For weeks, people have been disappearing off campus. Like they've just vanished. Teachers too. They just don't show up. Some of the commuting teachers' cars haven't moved in weeks. Well, I always say, if somebody goes missing, always suspect abduction. 
by a lot. I guarantee you, if we go to her dorm, she'll be sleeping. Fine. Let's go. Wanna come, Doctor? Me? Yes, I'll come. I love a good mystery. Lead the way. Right. Here's Alice's dorm. Time to prove that there is no conspiracy. Right. In we go, then. Ah. Doctor, what's wrong? The door's open. Stay behind me. The chair's been knocked over and her stuff is all over the floor. Maybe she just accidentally knocked it and didn't have time to pick it up. Scratch. Sign of the struggle. I'm starting to think Kate might be right. No, no, you're both crazy. Nothing is kidnapping students. This is just a coincidence. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I thought I'd lost this. Oh my god, it's been so long. What the hell is that? It's a machine that goes ding. It's picking up traces of Artron energy. Although, what's that doing? Artron energy? Yes, it's wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. It originates from the time zone, but humans can't pick that up. So, why is it here? I don't know, this stuff doesn't usually happen. There's a trail. Doctor, wait up. Why are you following him? I don't know. Katie! Oh, for... Uh... Here! This is where the trail will be. Doctor, it's a broom cupboard. In my experience, nothing is ever just a broom cupboard. You're actually going to follow him? It's just a broom cupboard. I want to find my friend. Where's your sense of adventure? Uh, fine. But you owe me. See, I told you it's just... Who's crazy now? Ha! Fantastic! Long range teleport inside a broom cupboard. That is genius. Where are we? I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? Come on, misery guts. I hate both of you. My instincts say starship. A classic. Dark metal, dim light, and zinc taste in the Sliding Star Trek star players. I love it. But, my instincts have been wrong before. I once thought I was in the tunnels of the forest planet of Bespo 7. Turns out that I was in the sewers of Paris during the French Revolution. That was a particularly interesting escape though. So you really are a time traveller and not just an escaped mental patient? Oi! Yes, of course not. You're obviously not human then. Where are you from? Planet called Gal. It's not there anymore. A red planet is covered in trees that silver light and the sun. Lakes of shimmering blue and mountains of Captain Snow, so pure and so white. I was a bit of an outcast, so I stole my box and went off. Still, I spent a good 236 years there, so can't. 236 years! How old are you? I must be getting near 1100 years. 11 faces as well. Bloody hell. Bloody hell! Surely you can't be over a thousand years old. What would you do with the time? I travel mostly. Making friends, saving plants, fighting monsters. I also seem to deal with a lot of... So, well, I knew I hadn't done something. What? Run. Ah, the teleport.
What the hell is that? It's my sonic screwdriver. God, you lot ask a lot of questions, don't you? If only I could find the right setting. Doctor, we're on a clock here. Ah, got it. <laughs> well, I've deadlocked it. So they won't be using that for a while. Quick, into Alice's dorm room. We'll hide here, just in case. So, I was right. There is a plot. It would seem so. We just have to come up with a plan. Okay, this is getting too weird. You intruded on my ship. Oh, is that your ship? In fairness, if you don't want people on your ship, don't put the teleport in a broom cupboard at a university. You know what students are like. Who are you? Captain Jack Harkness. At your service. That is false. Oh well. Should have known that wasn't going to work. I'm the doctor. You are? My name is Dumagard. Hundreds of years ago, this planet was under threat from a natural disaster. My people sent some of our finest warriors to save the Earth. This planet borrowed its salvation. For years we've been lurking in the shadows protecting the planet. Yet, seeing as our warriors were away, our planet began to fail and is on the verge of collapse. Now, their salvation must be returned and the debt must be repaid. Hang on, they didn't ask for your help. You may have saved them, but they owe you nothing. That's like me asking people to fix my TARDIS every time I save them. It's completely immoral and out of the question. Your warriors train to save people. These people, they can't help you. Lies! My ship will be leaving in 2,880 rels. That's an hour in your human time. I'm afraid, Doctor, you are too late. No. No, I've had enough of this. I'm leaving. What? You can't leave now! No, Katie. I came to university to get my degree and then live a danger-free life at my desk. I'm not built for a life of aliens and spaceships and abductions. If you think you can, you're crazy. I'm leaving. Don't try to stop me. So what now, Doctor? We're a man down. Back to the library. That's where my TARDIS is. I've got a plan. Care to enlighten me? I say I've got a plan. It's more of a rough idea. So you've not got a plan? Trust me. I'll have a plan by the time we get to the library. You lead the way. <sighs> okay then. Here we are. Didn't you crash this? Oh, don't worry, she's endured worse crashes than that. I once crashed her into the Titanic. <coughs> Come along, Katie. But it's bigger on the inside. Yeah, I noticed. Come in, pull up a chair, or sit on a bench. We don't really have chairs in here. It's very mishmash, isn't it? Mishmash? Mishmash? Yeah, mishmash, sort of space hobo style. You've got taps and clocks and stuff on your console and the colour scheme gold green. What? Oi, that's really rude. Don't listen to her. You said you'd have a plan when we got here. Yes, right, a plan. 
and I think we need to pay our friends another visit. But first, there's something we need to pick up. What are you going to do with that? I'll explain in a minute, but first, we need to take off. Why are you looking at me like that? Push the lever. Why? Just do it. Fine. Doctor, why have you returned to my ship? Because I have a plan. You don't have time for a plan. There are only 240 rels left. I know, I know. In those five minutes, I'm going to save everyone on this ship. Now, you can return all of the people you stole, and I'll help you save your planet, or we can do this the hard we will never surrender to your petty demands. Fine. The hard way it is. This is the TARDIS self-destruct button. If I press this, the Eye of Harmony will be released and destroy the TARDIS, taking this ship with it. Either you cooperate or I will press it. You're really willing to die for your cause. 100%. Well, Doctor, we seem to have come to an impasse. You won't submit to my demands. I won't submit to yours. But I know something that you don't. What's that, then? That is not a self-destruct button. That is a Jimmy Dodger. Fine. You've got me. It's my own fault. I should have never bought own brat. You are just wasting time. You'll never win. See, that's where you're wrong. I've been bluffing. What? See, about five minutes ago, I dropped my companion off down the corridor. Whilst we've been talking, she's undeadlocked the teleport and installed a patch for shipwide teleport. The life form she's registered it to. Human. She's also installed a remote trigger, which is in my pocket. So when I press this button, they all go home! Impossible! I gave you a chance, and I won't give you that. Sorry. Oh, it's something I forgot to mention. I short-circuited your navigation control. In 60 seconds, you're going to be blasting off into the deepest, darkest depths of the universe. With no way back. Bye. Where have you been? Just finishing up. Who's this? Doctor, this is Alice Smith. Ah, so this is the famous Alice. Nice to meet you, Doctor. Thank you for saving us. It's my pleasure. 
Katie, um, I have to go. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. What now, Doctor? I keep travelling. Exploring the universe. Might go and see Brunel. He still owes me a rematch of Jenga. Can I come? No, sorry. Why not? I don't let people travel with me full time. There's too much danger. Have you got a phone? Yeah, why? Get it out. What have you done that for? That's my number. It's in your phone now. Call me. We can have some adventures. Really? Yeah. You, me, time, space. The whole universe at our fingertips. Can I really travel the stars with you? Whenever you like. Just give me a ring. Anyway, I'd better head off. Places to be. Okay, I'll call you. You sure will. Jammy Dodgers. Ah, I forgot they were. A distress signal. <laughs> Geronimo! <laughs>